Epic Games just made a pretty big announcement, um, so I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys. Epic Games just announced that they launched their self-publishing tools for game developers and publishers, which essentially means that they have it set up now to where you can publish your own game on their store like you would with Steam. So that's a pretty big deal for Epic Games and anyone who wants to publish on the Epic Games store. They say that they've structured it so that it will enable developers and publishers to efficiently release games, maintain their store presence directly, and reach a growing audience of over 68 million monthly active users. So I'm definitely not someone that uses the Epic Games Store over something like Steam. I feel like it still has quite a ways to go to be able to compete with Steam on the same level, but I've definitely seen a lot of improvement with the platform over time, and this is another huge step in that direction to being able to compete directly with Steam. And they've managed to build up quite a big audience. 68 million active monthly users is nothing to spit at. That's definitely a large audience to be able to put your game in front of. So it says, release your game on the Epic Games Store and use the Epic Developer Portal to release your game using our new self-publishing tools. These tools are available to any developer or publisher with the games meeting the store's requirements. And this shows a list of those requirements. And again, they emphasize that it's open to everyone, all developers and publishers. They have it broken down into five phases to distribute your PC game with their new publishing tools. Step one is to sign up at dev.epicgames.com, create an account, or if you already have one, just log in, review and accept distribution agreement, and they have the $100 submission fee per game, um, and that's standard. That's the same with Steam as well. It's kind of put in place as a barrier to make sure that people aren't just releasing shovelware, low effort garbage to try to make money on the store. Having a requirement for you to invest your own money acts as a deterrent for a lot of cheap and easy, uh, quick cash grabs. Then step two is to build and publish a coming soon page, which again, that's like Steam. You configure and build the game page, submit a page for epic content review. So there is a review process, even though it's open to everyone to be able to set it up and publish it yourself, it still has to go through a review process. And then you publish that coming soon page to the store, which I'm sure you would just need to have something presentable just to start out, sort of a template, and then you can refine it and add it as, as time goes on and you get closer to release. Then step three, build, test, and rate your game. This is where you set up your game offers and sub pages, upload and test builds, and obtain AIRC ratings, which they show that that's optional. And then submit the game for review after going through that full process, you submit the updated page. So it looks like there's multi-levels to this um, review process. After getting through the initial review, once you actually have a build up, then it has to go through a review of your actual game. Submit updated page for the Epic content review. Submit game for Epic requirement review. And then if it makes it through that full process, then you're able to launch your game. And it shows that they show that there's a reach of up to 200 million users. And I think the big the big selling point here is keeping 88% of the revenue. So that would mean that Epic only takes a 12% cut while Steam takes a 30% cut. So that's definitely incentive for people who want to publish on the Epic Games Store. So again, saying that it's open to everyone who meets these specific requirements. The requirements are designed for a good player experience that doesn't lock players into a single store. These include PC crossplay for multiplayer games. Multiplayer games must support crossplay across all PC stores. This ensures that players who purchase a multiplayer game on any store can easily connect with other players regardless of where the game was purchased. To achieve this, you can implement crossplay yourself, use a third-party SDK, or use Epic Online Services for free, and then they have a link to more information about crossplay functionality. That seems like it could be definitely be a hurdle, but I also see the benefit of that because if your community, especially for a multiplayer game, if your community is sort of compartmentalized and sectioned off into all these smaller silos, then it'd be hard to have a thriving community. It could lead to the game dying, you know, the community kind of just drying up and ending up with a dead multiplayer game, which is never fun. All games onboarded to the Epic Games Store publishing tools after March 9th, 2023 are required to enable Epic Games Store achievements if the game has achievements on other PC stores. So if you didn't bother with achievements, you don't have to worry about it. But if you say your game was on Steam and you already had achievements for the Steam version, then you would be required to add achievements 
to the Epic Games Store version as well. And they say this helps to standardize the player experience regardless of where the game was purchased. So a similar sentiment as the, as the multiplayer crossplay, where they just want it to be consistent and obviously they don't want an inferior version placed on their store while a superior version is placed on their competitor's store. Age ratings for regional distribution. The Epic Games Store has partnered with the International Age Rating Coalition to help developers obtain ratings directly where required. This service is provided at no cost to you by the Epic Games Store. If your game already has a rating from an official rating system, it must be displayed on your store game page. Then there's a link to learn more about ratings. Prohibited content. Certain types of content are prohibited on the store. Hateful or discriminatory content, pornography, illegal content, content that infringes on an intellectual property you do not own or have the rights to use, scams, frauds, or deceptive practices such as fake games or malware. Games must download, install, launch, and function consistently with the assets and descriptions you provide on the game page. Epic reserves the right to reject games that we don't feel are sufficient in quality and functionality. I think it's an obvious and reasonable request. Make sure that your game is at a standard level of quality and actually playable and not just a buggy mess. And last, they give their reasoning or incentive for why you should publish your game on the Epic Games Store. Why bring your games to the Epic Games Store? Access an audience of over 230 million users. And then there's a link for additional stats. Publishers receive the 88% of the revenue for games sold through Epic Games Store with an option to use your own or a third-party payment solution to receive 100% of the revenue from in-app purchases. Hmm. So that's interesting. Like I said, that's one of the big selling points, the 88% revenue. In addition, they're also letting you take 100% of the revenue from in-app purchases, which to me means not the game itself, but in-game microtransactions. You can receive 100% of the revenue if you use a third-party payment solution, which I, I assume they're talking about something like PayPal or Paystripe. Our developer portal has an integrated process for obtaining ratings, which is required in some countries at no cost to you. Epic provides professional localization for your game pages at no additional cost. So I think that's a pretty strong incentive. Localization can be pretty difficult. If you're not familiar with what that means, it just means having your game set up to, to be playable in another market. So say you wanted to hit the, the Chinese market, you could do localization for your game in that language so that you can sell it in that market. That's kind of a big deal. And at no additional cost, which I think that's significant. Request the service through a developer portal ticket. The Support a Creator Affiliate Program allows you to incentivize content creators and amplify your game outside of the store by sharing a percentage of your revenue with them. So it looks like there's sort of a, an affiliate program where other people can, instead of creating their own game, they just help market your game and they gain a share of the revenue, which seems like a pretty cool feature. For games built on Unreal Engine, engine royalty fees are waived for in-store purchases using Epic's payment processor. In-app purchases and products using their own payment processor are not exempt from engine royalties. So overall, it sounds like a pretty awesome feature. I think it's pretty exciting. I guess it really depends on if you think that the store, the features that the store currently offers are worthwhile enough that you think it'd be a good option to put your game here. Like I said earlier, I still think Steam is a superior platform, but this is definitely a big step in the right direction for Epic, and I think it's really exciting for people who want to put their games on the platform. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this.